Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you could join us on this rainy Sunday. Uh, it's funny how the Lord works things out sometimes. This week as I was preparing, I was wanting to continue in Matthew like, like we've been in Matthew the last few weeks. And um, the, the story I got to was about a storm. And today it's supposed to be rainy and stormy all day. And I hope you guys stay really safe. Be a good day to take a nap. I know you probably don't like to take a nap. But <laughs> anyway, the story this morning is from Matthew 8. This very same story can be found in Mark 4 and Luke 8. So it's really cool how these four people walk in the earth the same time as Jesus all wrote books. And a lot of their stories are the same. And on this particular story, they're very similar. Um, some of the stories, they have different accounts. Like the, the birth of Jesus, they have different accounts. So this one's very similar. So... You know they were all there and they all experienced this or either they knew somebody that was there and um, it was so cool to them that they experienced it and wrote it down. So this is when Jesus calmed the storm. And it is in Matthew. And remember, Matthew is the first book of the, Old, the New Testament. And so you want to go to Psalms, which is near the middle of the Bible, and then go to your right to get to Matthew if you want to join me this morning. And maybe we won't blow away like the, like the storm in the Bible. But uh, Matthew 8, verse 23. So are you, any of you guys scared of, the, of bad weather? I was always scared of bad weather when I was growing up. I didn't like the thunder or lightning or, or even heavy rain. I, I couldn't stand to drive in it uh, or be with my mama when she was driving in it. It just scared me to death. And as I got older, I realized that it wasn't quite as scary as I thought it was. And a lot of times, for me as an adult, it's just a common time to know, just like this Bible story I'm going to read, that Jesus can calm any storm. There are bad That 
fails us, doesn't it? So where does your faith, where is your faith? Jesus is asking us through this storm, this, this crazy time that we're living, where is your faith at? Do you have faith in Jesus? Because no matter what the storm is, no matter what the challenge is, no matter how bad our virtual learning is, or how bad school is, or how ugly people treat you, have faith that Jesus can calm any of those storms in your life. Because even the winds and the waves obey Him. Let's close a prayer. God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for being so good to us. Um, thank you for this story this morning. Thank you for these rainy, stormy days that we can take the time and realize what control you have, that you can stop a storm um, in just a split second. Lord, help us to have that strong faith. Help us not to be worried. We know you're going to take care of things, um, good or bad. And they might be right now or they might be later, but you, you are in control. Help us to have faith in you every step of the way. Lord, there's so many are sick that have lost loved ones. We just ask that you be with them and their families. And, and there's just so many that are hurting around us. Lord, bless our nation. Wrap your arms around us. Um, take control. We have faith that you can handle this any situation. Lord, this virus, we have faith that you're in control, Lord. Thank you for being so good to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So where does your faith fly? Think about that as you go throughout this week. And each day, where is my faith? Even if you're a little one, who do I have faith in? I have faith in my parents. 